Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have already gone through and I have already cleansed my face. Um, I did do a double cleanse. I went in with my Kate Somerville cold cream as my first cleanse. And then I went in with a gel cleanser and I did a second cleanse. Okay, so today we're gonna have a little bit of a bougie skincare night. Um, and while I'm doing this first aid beauty ultra repair instant oatmeal mask, I actually went through and I wanted to make sure there was no acids in here. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the acids because A, I'm not an esthetician or a dermatologist, so I don't know every single little bitty thing about the acids. I just know the acids I use and how they work with my skin. And I have combination skin. Um, when it doesn't like something, it lets me know, which is why we're using a oatmeal mask to calm her because she's angry right now. Um, but I focus mainly on AHAs. They are the more sensitive of the acid family. I mean, besides hyaluronic acid, like hyaluronic acid just locks that moisture in, which by the way, this has hyaluronic acid in it. But then you also have like this, for example, it has lactic acid in it. It's the pineapple C vitamin, vitamins, <laughs> pineapple vitamin C serum. Then you have this which also has it doesn't even say what which acids it has um really wish i remembered which but this is an aha resurfacing night serum serum it's a serum okay for the first like month of using this i used it as a nightly moisturizer no wonder my face is mad at me. And then you have the peel pads, which have this, these actually have glycolic and lactic acid in them. And all four of these products, all four of them are used to get rid of texture. They are used to smooth. They are used to brighten and even lock in that hydration. And when I say that, I, I mean like in this one, because this one has that hyaluronic acid in it. So let's talk about what, when you use them, how you use them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so these two are serums. I don't use these two together. I will never use a vitamin C serum when I'm going in with something that is literally meant to help peel my skin. I will never use this and then follow it up with this. That is like the quickest way to take my skin off. Now, here's an exception. Not to this, but to this. I use these morning and night. In the morning, what I like to do is I like to wake up, wipe my face with one of them. The, well, Really, it depends on how I slept the night before. If I wake up, I'm sweaty, I'm gonna wash my face first, then wipe my face with one of them. If I just wake up normal, I'm just gonna wipe my face with one of them. I don't like over cleansing my skin because that is where it gets dry. I wanna keep that, I wanna keep that in mind. Um, that's where it starts feeling dehydrated. That's where it starts breaking out because at that point I'm overusing products on my face and I'm taking off the oils that my face is naturally producing to keep it healthy. Okay. <clears throat> That's why you don't want to use stripping. That's why you don't want to use stripping cleansers. So in the morning I will wake up. Sometimes I'll cleanse my face. Sometimes I'll just wipe it with one of these. And then I will wait until my face is fully dry. When I use a exfoliating pad, which is exactly what this is. It's an exfoliating, toning, and brightening pad. Safe for sensitive skin and alcohol free. 
Um, I always look for that alcohol free thing. My skin isn't super sensitive. It just, it likes to tell me to go F myself quite a bit. So I always let this dry and then I go in with my serums because at that point my face has absorbed all of that glycolic acid and that lactic acid. Now I will go in with this after I use these because lactic acid, lactic acid, they work well together. And then I'll continue about my day and I will just add a moisturizer. Lately I've been using the Ultra Repair Moisturizer during the day. I love it. It's been working beautifully for my skin. Now, exception. I will use this, let my face fully dry, and then I'll go in with this. This is a hydrating sleeping mask and it's going to help lock in the serum. So while my face is gently exfoliating because of the AHAs, both of these have AHAs in them. This one just also happens to have some hyaluronic acid in it to help lock in, draw in that moisture. Hyaluronic acid doesn't necessarily lock in moisture, it draws moisture. So it's gonna draw moisture from the air and then my face is gonna just absorb it. I love this. I literally use this every single night. No joke. I will put it over retinol after my skin absorbs it. I will put it over this. I will use it by itself every night, every single night without fail. So I really, I really pay attention to the acids that I'm putting on my face, like glycolic acid and lactic acid and hyaluronic acid. Those won't irritate each other because case in point, this one has both. Now, I'm not going to use this and then follow it up with this. That's just, no, mm, that's just going to tick my skin off. If I do use this, I wait about an hour, hour and a half before I apply this. Like, I, I'm very aware of what I'm putting on my skin and how I'm putting it on. I'm going to go rinse this off my face and we'll go ahead and do the nighttime skincare. And then y'all are free. Okay. So, now tonight is all about, I'm really all about like hydrating but also exfoliating my face tonight. So, I'm actually not going to use these because of the routine I'm about to use. I'm going to go in with some e.l.f. hydrating water essence. I'm just going to put a few drops in my hand, rub it in between my hands. And then just press it in. I'm all about the hydrating, but I'm also all about the exfoliating, which is why I'm going to go in with this particular routine because my face does need to be, it needs an exfoliating. Like we haven't. We haven't exfoliated in a few days, guys. Okay, so now I'm going in with an Alicia Koi moisturizing toner. Like, honestly, I've gotten in the habit of, and I know I'm probably going to catch a lot of crap for this right, because of the coronavirus, but y'all also got to keep in mind, I just washed my hands, and I literally went from point A to point B. Um, and I also Lysol the living daylights out of this room. I've gotten in the habit of not using cotton pads with my toner because while we're just sitting here waiting on my face to semi dry, because I don't want to go in with the next product while my face is wet. Um, we're going to take some Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti Wrinkle and we're just going to pat her in. Um, I will say that I've gotten in the habit of patting it in my skin because I am a lot more aware of how rough I'm being on my skin when I'm just pat, pat, pat. But you also have to keep in mind, I went from point A to point B and I 
clean my hands and I Lysol this area. Like I have my Lysol disinfecting spray. I Lysol my entire house. So we're good guys, I promise. Um, now if you are not able to be as thorough as I am, then don't do that. If you are more comfortable using a cotton pad, then use that. This is just how I have gotten in the habit of doing my skincare. So, and even with the coronavirus around us, um, life is still moving. So you do still have to take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself. It is important at the end of the day. Um, you can't take care of other people if you're in a bad place. And this is my happy place. My skincare, my makeup, it's my escape from everything going on in the world. Okay, we're almost dry. All right, we're dry. So, here's why I wanted my face to be dry. When your face is damp and you apply serums to it, it is just gonna... Now, this is already going to make my face tingle. I don't want it to give it. I don't want to give it another reason to make my face tingle. So we're gonna go in with the Honeymoon Glow. We have two pumps, and I'm going to put this everywhere but my eyes. And I'm just applying it in circular motions. Again, everywhere but my eyes. <laughs> I don't want to exfoliate my eyes, okay? I'm not about that length. Some might be, I am not one of them. And I'm mainly doing this because I am experiencing a little bit of a breakout. Um, I think it's stress induced. Yeah, they happen. So I just, I want to go in and get all of this and I'm going to take one more pump, rub it between my hands. Yes, I do this on my neck as well. Okay. Now I'm going to let my face absorb all of that and we will be right back. So now our face is pretty much absorbed everything. Um, what I want to do, I'm going to take a foundation brush and I'm going to dip into my watermelon glow and I'm going to pat her under my eye before I go anywhere because it is very important that we maintain hydration even though we are exfoliating. I actually brought it up a little too high, but that's okay. We'll, it'll be um, pretty much absorbed before we move on. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to scoop a good bit out, put it in my lid here so that I don't have to keep dipping it back into the jar. Y'all never really see me do that, but I do. Like, I scoop a good bit out and then I use the lid. Because I clean this brush nightly. Um, that is actually one thing I do want to touch on real quick. While we are all focusing on keeping our houses and everything clean throughout the coronavirus pandemic, it is very, very important that we also keep our brushes clean. Um, because we are putting them on our skin and that is going to, uh, like we may not realize how many germs actually stay on our brushes. So we wanna make sure that we are cleaning our brushes as well as our face. 
So while you're cleaning your hands and all that good stuff, make sure you're also cleaning your brushes. Okay. Now she is gonna go back in the fridge. I love keeping this in the fridge. It is so soothing and just calming to apply it on my face when it's cold. So as you can see, we have some red spots right here, right here, right here. Um, that is normal. We did just put an exfoliating serum on our face. It is going to tangle. Now, if it doesn't, it stopped tangling. It's still red, but it stopped tangling. So if you are doing this and your face is still tangling after your face has absorbed all this, for all that's holy, please wash it off. Please. All right, guys. I'm going to go. <laughs> I have a few things I need to get done. So I will see y'all in my next video. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And yeah, stay safe. Stay clean during this coronavirus. And take care of yourselves. Because you can't take care of anyone else if you aren't taken care of. Alright guys.